Many residents of the 93rd Legislative District recently received a letter from the group Americans for Prosperity. The letter asked them to contact me regarding the governor's plan to raise your taxes without solving Pennsylvania's pension crisis. According to my staff, which fielded the telephone calls and the emails that I read, the letter has angered its readers and confused them by calling into question my opinion of the Wolf budget proposal. Let me be clear. Anyone who has spoken with me, follows my Facebook page, or receives my weekly email is already aware of my opposition to the proposal. While serving on the Dallas Town School Board, I helped hold the line against tax increases. I know full well the price tag that's attached to Pennsylvania's $53 billion unfunded pension liability, the $4 billion of interest attached to it, and what it has done to local school district budgets and their taxpayers. Since taking office, I have clearly stated my desire for pension reform, property tax elimination, and prevailing wage reform. I'm looking forward to this coming June when Pennsylvania's School Funding Commission reports the findings of its statewide hearings. My hope is that the Commission will recommend updating Pennsylvania's outdated funding formula that penalizes our school districts, our taxpayers, and the students who live in York County by diverting to other regions of Pennsylvania the education funding that is deservedly theirs. I'm sorry if the letter which was not sent by me has upset you and clouded the issues. I have opposed the Wolf budget proposal since the day it was offered. Reduced spending, lower taxes, and effective stewardship of your hard-earned dollars remains my number one priority.